What's up, everyone? Welcome to the October 24th edition of the NBA Injury Report. I'm your host, Adam Scherer. You can follow me on Twitter at ShipMyMoneyDFS. We have an eight-game NBA slate tonight, so we do have some questionable players to take a look at. But first, reminder, our best NBA promo of the year is currently running. Use the promo code HARDWOOD and get 10 days of Stochastic Plus Platinum for just $10. That'll give you access to behind the paywall data, including our Boom Bus tool and also our new lineup generator, which is a fast, efficient, easy way to create quality lineups for whatever type of NBA DFS contest you are looking to enter. Again, use promo code HARDWOOD, get 10 days of Stochastic Plus Platinum for just $10. Now, taking a look at some of the injury news that we are waiting on today, Scotty Barnes is a game-time decision for the Toronto Raptors. Chris Boucher is available. Not exactly sure how this rotation is going to look if Barnes is out. In the past, we typically still see a lot of minutes for the other four starters for Toronto when someone's out. Um, and then also at times we've seen Chris Boucher move into the starting lineup in previous years. Sometimes V Mikhail Luke would start. He's not uh, on the team anymore, but you could see a similar spot starter um, in their game. The other day, they went to a non-rotation player in the second half uh, after Barnes initial injury, um, drawing a blank on, on the name, but it was somebody that wouldn't really matter for DFS. So uh, do keep an eye out for what the starting lineup is, but you should see more playmaking for Fred Van Vliet and Pascal Siakam if Barnes is out, and then also potentially some additional playing time for Chris Boucher if he's not on a minute's limit. Number two, or the second uh, player that we're waiting on, Dylan Brooks is questionable. He seems like he's getting closer and closer to playing. Uh, was a game-time decision last game, ended up not giving it a go. If he's in, it's bad for basically everybody on Memphis. John Morant last season had a usage rate eight points lower with Brooks on the floor compared to without Brooks. Uh, Desmond Bain's usage rate dropped four points last year when Brooks was on the floor, though his per minute production did remain the same because of efficiency. Uh, he didn't get nearly as many opportunities. John Car John Conchar probably loses minutes if Brooks is back. On the other hand, if Brooks is out, all three of those guys still look good. And Alperin Shangun also questionable for the Rockets. Bruno Fernando already out. Usman Garuba started last game in place of Fernando and played 25 minutes. If Shangun is out, that helps to secure those minutes for Usman Garuba. And then I expect the backup center rotation to be some combination of uh, Boban Marjanovic, Jabari Smith, Tari Eason, uh, probably mixing and matching there to soak up the rest of Shangun's minutes. So again, the biggest injury news that we're waiting on, Scotty Barnes is questionable. Dylan Brooks is questionable. And Alperin Shangun is questionable. If Barnes is out, you're likely to see increased playmaking for Van Vliet and Siakam. If Brooks is out, we continue to see elevated usage for Bain and Morant with additional playing time for John Conchar. And if Shangun is out, it helps to solidify Usman Garuba's minutes while also uh, potentially opening up more minutes and more production for guys like Boban Marjanovic, Jabari Smith, and Tari Eason. 